We are at Hard Schlock Stadium, home of the Crack Engine, Diami, Florida. A city where the temperature is over 100 and the IQ is in the low teens <laughs> at best. Then don't poke fun at the fans. They're loyal. Therapists call it delusional. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Lost Wages Invaders take on the Diami Krakens. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down green street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the vet to have him reattached my big coat to where my tongue was again. It just fell off for the third time today. I was barely and the defense jumps on sides, trying to mutilate the kill. the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. <laughs> First down and nine. with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Friends. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. There were any functioning brain cells before that hit. They're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. Somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, 
with Grin. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And that'll be second down and four. Killer, it was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third and four. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What are you doing then? Run. First and ten. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. He's not going down. And he's running like a moose. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. <laughs> that run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. And they went to the air and came up big. Second down and six. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and four. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. First and four. 
And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Hey, you see that move, baby? You know you did? You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And that'll bring up second and one. the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. What is this, Andy's wrestling? And the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. Yeah. How do you think he got those, Grim? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? Yeah. He's bribed, you idiot. And this is the first, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. Hot one, hot two, hot three. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, three. That one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Third down and never gonna happen. Hot one, hot two, three. Boom! And it's first and ten. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And he runs it in for the touchdown. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're 
are looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick. And anything he touches gets flambéed. He broke free and has open field in front of him. That is such bullshit. This game is fucking rigged. I tell you, the programmers are sweet enough to be fast. I'm going to write an email for that fucker. I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Kind of reminds me of that painting of dead carving a turkey. He's at the 30. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw buck riding on this asshole. First and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench.
third down and long. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. Third down and the punter is warming up. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Well, that's a lovely shake for the punter today. He just put his team in the hole. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. <laughs> It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soy like beer? Third quarter, we are all tied up and set to kick off the second half. Uh, speaking of all tied up, Grim, how many of them elephant lags in a pill did I take? I feel like I'm sitting on Mount Vesuvio right now. Oh, one false move, and I'm gonna blow! Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed, it was a chimp wearing a wig. Seven yards on that play. Second and three. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wolf socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel, he got blown across the room into the deer antlers. Third down and eight. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really hey, if you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hit, do something about that ref, you pussies. <laughs> down and, and they've had enough the offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref third down and the offense needs a miracle Well, as a quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit.
And it's first and ten. Second down and six. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. Third down and long. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and forever. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die.
And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense schmuck. Second down and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. He is fighting for every... And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service. Located just off the Beltway, exit five. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. The teams have kept each other at bay for now. But there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and nine. down give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off he is deadly in the open field bricks and it's first and ten and into the end zone for a touchdown once he got his hands on that pass he was off to the races And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire! Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone! He could go all the way! Oh, baby, I'm the greatest! No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> And 
And it's first and ten. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Second down and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. Quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and four. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. <laughs> <laughs> Second down in a very lot. And he runs it for four yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. One. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Well, two years ago, this guy was a buried, rotting corpse at the end of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing, scoring machine. Yeah, what a story. And what a, what a wonderful story. Yeah, but... Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And it plows forward for the two-point conversion. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. It's the two-minute warning. You know what that means, right, Bricks? Yeah, take a giant whiz and get in a fight in the men's room. 
And it's first and ten. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Second down and six. And he gets three yards on that run. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. Oh, oh, oh. that gets me every time. Like a jack-in-the-box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And that's the last timeout. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? And it's first and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue! You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk! Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Oh, man. You know, they train those things to eat only visiting players. But when they're hungry, they'll eat anything. Yeah, sometimes I eat my toenails. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down and seven. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. The Krakens deliver the victory to their home team fans. There's going to be one heck of a party on the South Beach Canals tonight. They handed the opposition a crushing defeat with a two-point win. Man, talk about a close one. Speaking of close, do you ever wonder why razor blades need five blades? I get a close shave just fine with one of those cheap travel razors, don't you, Grim? No idea what you're talking about. Let's hear what the MVP has to say about this victory. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.